The first sound most visitors hear as they approach Mill Springs Mill is that of running water. This water, flowing from 13 springs on Lake Cumberland, creates a noisy, yet a curiously calming effect on all who hear it. Soon, however, an irritating tap, tap, tap intrudes on the solitary thoughts of the casual dreamer. Inside the mill, work continues as usual. The miller has no time to dream. He is hard at work, repairing one of the most important pieces of equipment in the mill, the French burr stones. Prized by mill owners, these stones were transported all the way from France. The small holes in the stones provide excellent cutting edges to grind fine cornmeal, and the hardness of the stones ensure long wear. This, however, is not enough to grind meal properly. The miller has to sharpen each stone. After the chute, bin, and cover are removed, the runner stone is turned over. Chalking the stone in blue to locate the high spots, the miller then chips away the stone until the chalk is gone. This removes the high spots. Done several times, this evens the stone. Furrows are then formed radiating from the center. It is along these furrows that the corn travels, crossing over to the next, grinding it into cornmeal. The furrows must be aligned just so, to grind properly. After the stones are sharpened, they must be placed so they will never touch. They will burn if they do. If the spinning leveling rod touches the stone, it indicates the stone is uneven and the stone must be adjusted from under the mill. After the stones are sharpened and leveled, the miller packs them with cornmeal, replaces the runner stone, and attaches the cover, bin, and chute. Once again, Mill Springs is ready to grind meal, not as a necessity as in days past, but as a remembrance for days future, for us and our children and for those casual dreamers with their solitary thoughts.